Okay, so from that video that I uh, just played for you, you hear these people, these Republicans on the right that are bitching and moaning and complaining because people are marching on Wall Street and marching all over the country. Now, I'm sorry, but they're making these things, but I'm sorry, it was to my understanding that we had the First Amendment constitutional freedom to do that. Now, now I'm not really, you know, I'm not always the one, one to uh, second guess things, but that was just my opinion. It just seems like these uh, Republicans, a lot of these conservative guys, they're just really you know they're just kind of they're being fascist is what they're trying to do they're trying to control us and subdue us and silence our movement it's not it's not riots it's not troublemakers they're not a bunch of mobsters they these are just ordinary people fed up with the government and they're and they're you know and it's a revolution they're just voicing their free opinions people it's nothing more than that. It's just peaceful protests. And then you have Orrin Hatch, who's saying that it is a revolt that that will be um, that will be suppressed. You know what? Adolf Hitler tried to suppress a lot of people for, uh, for voicing their free opinions too. And I will be damned if they will if they're these conservative people are gonna are gonna let are just gonna march in and, and say you need to break this up because you have no right to protest here you have no right of you have no speech freedom of speech rights you have no freedom of of peaceful assembly you have no right of, of to express yourself yeah that's that's basically what it translates to that's what all of them are basically saying when they're saying that it's nothing more than a, you know, you know, a bunch of people that are wanting to, you know, 
they're marching and protesting and you know cause they're saying they're causing trouble and stuff like that basically translated they're saying we don't like it and we're not going to put up with it uh, because we don't believe that they should have these rights that's basically what they're saying they're a bunch of totalitarian douchebags and their time needs is pretty is going to be up in this country pretty soon so they might as well pack their bags and get the fuck out now I will be damned if we have to live under a totalitarian state. I, do, I, I love democracy. I love freedom. I love First Amendment freedoms most of all. And if these guys think that they're going to just steal that away from everybody, they got another fucking thing coming. Now, there is, uh, now I think we heard that one guy uh, saying that it's nothing more than uh, people uh, forming, um, you know, wanting to keep Obama in in off office. Excuse me. Um, no, I actually think some people are actually rather pissed off at Obama. They're not really wanting to keep him in office so much as they're wanting to remove. They're wanting people, uh, quite a few of the guys in the government, pretty much to to step off and do get the fuck out. It is pretty much I can compare it to the Arab Spring because what what those protesters over there wanted was their leaders to their dictators to step down, and in in Libya it resulted in civil war, but in um, but in some cases, like Egypt and you know other places, you know it's it's resulted in the step, the removal of dictators, and that's pretty much what's going on here. Is that the protesters are pretty much wanting the removal of Obama, and pretty much all these fascist douchebags that are trying to control control our lives. America is falling under totalitarianism people and it's t and I'm glad that people are standing up and saying we're not going to take that shit and the pro and the reason why these guys are coming out saying that they want to subdue the protests is because they're scared that they're going to lose their grip on power and that they're want you know they're going to you know they don't want to give up their power they want to keep us controlled and repressed and they want to you know instill their dominance over our country that it's not going to happen while we're around. And I feel, in, in a way, I feel that if, that the way things are going, the peaceful protests could end up, you know, something like how it is in Egypt and how it is, and God forbid how it is in Libya. But, you know, if these, if they keep, if the police keep brutalizing people for just peacefully protesting and the Republicans keep talking the way they're talking you're gonna see more than just a protests the protests on Wall Street in LA you're gonna start seeing an overthrow of the goddamn government you know and while I may not be there I would be more than happy to pick up a gun and fight for liberty I really would I don't I'm not much for it, but I will fight for revolution. I really will. You know, and Herman Cain's basically saying some bullshit, saying that that if you don't have a job and you're not rich, that then you then it's your fault basically about what the country is the way it is. That right there is a perfect statement that says that they're a bunch of elitist fascist bastards that don't give a shit about the ordinary American people. Do not elect these people. Do not even, if, if anything, I'm not saying you should vote for Obama because I think Obama's got his faults too. But, the, you know, I wouldn't vote for any one of those bastards in the Republican race because unless you count maybe John Huntsman and Ron Paul but most of the other people have pretty much run their mouths too many times and said shit that 
I think has got them in a bit of hot water. So, yeah, I wouldn't elect Herman Cain. I wouldn't elect. I would not elect Rick Perry. I would not elect. Uh, uh, I would not elect Rick Santorum. I would not elect Michelle Bachman. I would not elect Newt Gingrich. I would not elect any of those fascist bastards. You know they. They they are basically people that that as and I've stated this before, who want nothing more to instill their evangelist Christianity ideals over this country, and install basically what is a totalitarian state. That that's their goal, people. They that, plain and simple. They want to. That's the truth of the matter. They want to create a totalitarian state. And that's why many people, I think, are breaking off onto Wall Street and other places because they're noticing that to talk, that that things are getting very authoritarian anymore, and they're not going to take it. You know, you can only push the American people so far before we we stand up and and say, "Fuck you." And you know what? They can bitch and moan and complain all they want in Washington. But it's going to happen. It, it's, it really is. It, so, let me play that back again one more time. Yeah, the, uh, I just rewatched that video for a second, so sorry for the cut in the video, but, um, yeah, the, were they that uh, one of those guys was talking about uh, how the quote attack on business the attack on industry uh, an attack on freedom is base is nothing more than a political movement to reelect a president whose policies are completely incompetent yeah the apparently the attacking the business is attacking basically protesting against the bank and against you know big you know big business and stuff like that now is apparently a crime it's apparently a, a, an attack against freedom uh, no I actually think that protesting is is freedom in its own self god damn it the fact that we're protest that these people are protesting against the big businesses and against industries and the unions getting involved is because things are shitty and they're and they're tired of the way people are being the way they're being treated you know so so no it's not an attack on anything it's just peaceful demonstration as people have the right to under the US Constitution under the First Amendment oh. so you know when they're talking about you know that it's an attack on you know against freedom again just a bunch of you know just a bunch of rich elitist assholes that uh, don't want to give up power totalitarianism fascism plain and simple but I think it's just plain and simple that the fact that a lot of the conservatives who are the ones that are mainly the rich older people they're they're you know they're the ones that are saying you know that think it's a crime that we're standing up for our beliefs and we're standing up for against totalitarianism and yet they think that's and, and yet they think that somehow warrants the, a reason for the police to go after people and again what Herman Cain said when he says that don't blame the banks don't blame Wall Street if you're if you don't have a job and you're not rich blame yourselves yeah that spoken like a spoken like a typical rich elitist fascist bastard you know what yeah you know why we don't ha why we can't get jobs because there's no jobs available why aren't we rich because well first of all we pay a lot of taxes and we're and times are tough 
in the economy right now and it's people like you that won't pay your fair share of taxes or if you pay any at all and that's that's why people don't have jobs and they don't and they're not rich because we you know you know if we had unfortunately not everybody can be blessed like you people it, I, just, I just get so pissed off at, at these people and you know what that they're gonna learn pretty soon what it's like to be in our spot because the revolution has begun Occupy Wall Street is a necessary type of a thing because it's people voicing their free opinion and their free, you know, right to protest as they have in the First Amendment. And if you don't like it, that's tough. And I consider you a fascist douchebag who is going to eventually be toppled or killed in the, in the during the purge. Viva la revolution! I'm NorCal Nick, president of NorCal, leader of the revolutionist movement. And I'm very pissed off and that this has been NorCal Corner.